Ventura, California, by way of Long Beach Poly. Toss to Jerry and Ely. The field, as you see right now, in the backfield. Mixing it up a little bit. Here's Moore again. He's got great vision, picks up a first down. And he defensive end, 95, Alex Huntley. 15 defensive end, Aaron Sterling. All going to be out for the South Carolina defense tonight. Corral, three in total D. Corral, sidearms one out to the perimeter. It's Elijah Moore. Eight gets his name... And then you don't have much time to adjust. There's Ely who crawled. Same play. Ely. That's more in motion. They'll give the Ely going the other way. Got to make a man miss. Instead, he just run. He said, I don't think they have any third down plays. Corral pulls it back. Lob. Yaboa, the tight end. In for this third down. Pardon me. That's Henry Parrish Jr. in. And Corral on an RPO keeps it. And he gets ridden down, but he took the line. Tenth play of the opening drive for Ole Miss. Trying to answer Carolina. Corral with a bullet. A better receiver than your uh, telestrating skills tonight. You're having an off night. Corral loads up. Wide open in the flat is Henry Parrish. And the running back takes it inside the 10. Somewhere John King is laughing at you. Corral on the bootleg. Spins it out. He finds Elijah Moore. Was it lower center of gravity? Center that's what I was for. Center of gravity creates problems. Yaboa the tight end. Corral fires the one and full digit drive totals. Just two drives in. Matt Corral with his 19th touchdown pass. To the and a bad throw leads to an interception. Can't do it. Elijah Moore rips this one up the hashes and he takes it into the football. Moore already has six touches tonight. And now a pitch to Snoop Connor's got a stiff arm. We'll, we'll find out later if that was from a play call or a check from Colin Hill. And Kiffin's going to lead towards being aggressive. Corral wants to go deep. Wide open. Elijah Moore is at it again. And three touchdowns. There's no secret what Ole Miss wants to do. They give it to Moore again. And he slides his way to the edge and is not a first down. This is second and one after the spot. Snoop Connor has it. And he's got a first down for the Rebels. On the rear ends. Here's Connor again. No, Corral keeps and he's in. Watch 27 right here on the edge of the line of scrimmage. See, I'm working with this telly. <laughs> Pretty good weekend. He's sticking around for yeah. the whole thing. Here's Jerry and Ely. Who takes it to the left side. In the mid-90s, he says football's a hobby. Ely, huge run. Pretty good hobby. Jerry and Ely inside the 40. And he mentioned this is his favorite run play, the stretch. Why? Because you get the defense to overcommit. You stick your foot in the ground and you get vertical. Little taste of the, the slot at the top of your screen. Get coverage over to him late. Ely will take it on the right side. South Carolina has it sniffed out. Trying to hang a U-turn. Amu's place in the back end. Corral wanting to throw. It is caught. Fantastic hands coming back. Great coverage by John Dixon. Just a better place ball. Swing pass. Here's your ball. That's why he wanted to fix his chin strap. That's much no. in the backfield. No. Corral. Fake the sweep, goes over the middle. Another big play coming. Now you see him move a ton all season, but you haven't seen him from the backfield as much as you do tonight. Again, the more they move him around, the harder it is for South Carolina to match him with J.C. Horn, which is what they really want to do. Hey, they'll turn and hand it off again. Run behind Broker, and an old miss. Loaded backfield for Corral, little toss, and it turns into a sweep. And Elijah Moore after the penalty, first and goal from the 27-yard line. Corral's got Yaboa. Instead, he wants his sidearm one over the middle, and that's going to change his arm angle, whip it back the other. Live, end zone, top action, then they come at you with a hard play action, and, and this is usually the pop pass you see to Yaboa. Instead, they motion Yaboa to keep those... Jamie Robinson and Israel Mukwamu both out for South Carolina. Ole Miss in the run game. And 
Second about six, Corral looking for number eight. Instead, he's going to go deep, wide open, and he puts it on top. The backhand of South Carolina. Elijah Moore from the backfield into the 10. Here's Snoop Connor with a touch. And Connor, second and goal. Corral pumps. Tries to dance up the middle on Elijah Moore underneath, and that's going to open up the hole behind him. You see that? For Braylon Sanders. It's just a high low. Anytime you get that cover four look, you want to high low that. Stack the slot receivers. And now move Kelly. Corral. Pressure. And he lost the football on the way down. South Carolina couldn't grab. Seconds left in the half. Now they get the two safety look. Oh, misses the timeout. More in the slot on the right side. Corral looking left. Pressure, and he flips it forward for an income. Better play on the outside by Jabari Ellis here. Beating Cole's guy, Nick Broker. Corral looking man coverage on the left side. Coming back right side. He's got your ball with a step under three. Obviously, you're only up to the. 32 yard line, still a lot of territory. Corral, got seven go. seconds left, swings it out. Connor will stay in bound. Fleeted Ole Miss defense, both of them bothered by injuries. Corral on first down wants to throw, and that one's complete to Elijah Moore, who. Corral pulls it back. Flicks complete to Drummond, and he spins his way free inside the 45 and down to the... Made a break on that. If that's inaccurate or doesn't have as much juice on it, that could be an interception. Inside the 10, snuffed a would-be Ole Miss scoring drive. Corral pressure by Thomas from behind. Runs away from him. A run on third and 13. Elijah Moore right here. Corral looking that way. Now goes the opposite way, and it's good for an Ole Miss first down. Played middle infielder as a kid growing up in California. Flag on the play. Here's a guy who's coming in, blowing everybody up. It's going to be Drummond on the outside here. Boy, I don't know. Field down. Corral into the slot options mobile quarterbacks that can throw three-quarter that can throw with twitch that can be able to flip your hips and throw kind of like a shortstop or a second baseman would do corral has it batted away thank you corral end zone in conclusion one because i don't think it was catchable anyway with more in motion they go straight ahead and a cut back inside that's just a great job by Connor here. I mean, look at that. That, that. that play should have been blown up. Almost was blown up. By Let's go get a win. Yeah, I mean, listen. Here's Snoop Connor. Four-man rush. They got to him, and he's able to sling it out to Snoop Connor, but he stopped. Carolina leading by four. They show pressure. Jordan Burks, a talented freshman in a two-point stance. Corral has all day to the slant, and that's going to be a Corral surveys. Sidearms one behind. Toss to Jerry and Ely, and he gets taken. Uh-oh, hold your breath. Holding call, left tackle. <laughs> Corral, straight drop. Going to dial deep. Sanders. The arm talent, he lets this ball go from the 25-yard line. And that ball is caught. 60-plus yard bomb right on the money. Straight ahead run, Ely stays on his feet on a huge play. That's what Tempo does to you. Those, all those defenders, the D-linemen just... No, they're saying hold my solo cut. Corral hands it off. Ely... Second down seven. Play action. Corral. Oh my goodness, Elijah Moore wide open. Clay Kippen just threw his clipboard 30 yards in the air. Touchdown. Kippen celebrated the list like it was New Year's Eve. You might see the clipboard fly up. And who is not in the picture right there? The safety.
What did I just mention? Roderick with best 590 yards of production tonight. They'll hand it off on the board. So buckle up. <laughs> right? Corral to the slant. Caught Elijah Moore. And Moore takes it in your game. And, and this is where it gets hard as a defensive coordinator because you're trying to get pressure on Corral. You're trying to stack the box to stop the run. 238 yards receiving last week. He's got 200 tonight. Flip it out. Corral looking that way. It's your ball for an all man. Flag on the play. Corral will. And watch the big play right here. Watch when this ball. Look at this. Eyes right there and eyes right there. Those two defenders both are looking at Elijah Moore. Corral keeps it. Cuts back upfield. And... Corral looks right, comes back left. Man coverage, Moore. Flat. Unless it happens really early here, watch him turn. Look at him turn. I mean, are they, are they saying his left hand is... Fender had two picks against Auburn. Here's Corral on an RPO, keeps it and takes it inside. Quarterback, pretty good history of scrambling quarterbacks in Ole Miss's history. Here's Corral again. Lowers his shoulder, take neck pace on both sides. Third down. Ely in! Jay Roderick right here. Terrible circle again, but watch him backside. He's getting too far inside again. He's a safe. Jerry and Ely taking down. Play clock at one, second and 14. Ely again, third and nine. Corral chasing the backfield. Bunch of white shirts there, and they expect Matt Corral That's a green to line. chase Archie. Corral steps up in the pocket, over the middle, caught, touchdown. Where is he looking? He knows where he wants to go with the football, but he's looking left, steps up left, and look at the safety. Jamie Robinson. There's been a lot of pressure on the South Carolina program, but does it translate to success against other teams in the league? Corral's going to keep it. Son Arch threw seven touchdowns in one quarter last night. Not a bad weekend for the Mannings. Well, I don't know if there's a tweet <laughs> out. A clipboard throw. Ole Miss with an impressive.